Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back once again to the Aura News broadcast. I'm Daniel Cook, your host, six days a week at 6 p.m. for a translated version of the top Albanian news stories. After returning from the UN summit in the United States, Prime Minister Rama went directly to the Parliament building to meet the Assembly Speaker, Ilir Meta. The meeting started at 4 o'clock this afternoon and lasted for almost two hours. It is believed that they spoke about the recent political developments in the country and the highly controversial Chez issue. While in the U.S., Mr. Rama declared in an interview that he is not in favor of an international investigation, saying that it's an internal issue and must be investigated by Albania's own judicial system. The meeting between the two allies comes at a time of speculation about a breach in their relations. Afterward, Prime Minister Rama declined to make any comment to the media that was waiting outside. Business owners have expressed discontent with the guidance for making online declarations in the tax and duty system. According to them, the regulations include only obligations for the businesses and no boundaries for the administration. The new modernized system for online declarations has been in function since January 1st of this year. Along with the system, there is also a guidance which defines the rights and obligations of the tax administration and provides directives for the businesses trying to use the system. One clause of the guidance reads as follows. The tax administration does not guarantee the accuracy, adequacy, or perfection of information or documents provided by the e-tax service. For businesses, this means that the administration is not responsible for any mechanical, technical, or mathematical error that the system might make. Another clause is this. The tax administration does not guarantee that the right of access to the e-tax system or information or functionality will be provided uninterrupted or error-free or without the intervention of unauthorized third parties. In practical terms, this clause states that the administration has no liability if the user has problems accessing the page and therefore fails to declare on time. Yet another clause reads, the tax administration will not be responsible in any case that has to do with loss or damage, whatever the cause. In short, this clause protects the administration from responsibility for anything, a protection that the business owners take objection to. When asked about the terms of the guidance, official sources from the tax directory explained that the instructions were designed with the assistance of the IMF and the World Bank in accordance with international standards. According to them, the guidance guarantees the rights and obligations of both parties, but the tax directory cannot guarantee that there will be no unauthorized access. The owners of around 2,000 small businesses in Tirana protested today against the harsh penalties that have been imposed upon them for informality. The business owners claim that the fines are being levied unfairly by the tax inspectors, even when they are equipped with cash registers. According to them, just on Friday, 100 businesses were fined 30,000 lek. Meanwhile, the ombudsman spoke today about the confiscation of goods from some businesses. The ombudsman asked for some leniency for these businesses because, according to him, confiscating their goods or shutting down their shops will have social and economic consequences for their families. He said that he has drafted some recommendations and sent them to the Ministry of Finance and the Director of the Tax Directorate. The ombudsman also sent a letter to the mayor asking him to create more normal conditions for these business owners. The Association of Lawyers in Albania held a protest today as well against the obligation of law offices to be equipped with cash registers. The chairman of the Criminal Lawyers Association considers this measure to be unacceptable, saying that this practice is not followed in European countries. Mr. Vishai said that his obligation is con uh, this obligation is contrary to the decisions of the government and that the operation against informality must not include their law offices. The association will be drafting a petition against the requirement for cash registers to be sent to the Prime Minister, the Minister of Finance, and the Tax Director. The association has announced that lawyers throughout the country will abandon the courts if they are not excluded from this measure.
At the summit of world leaders against ISIS, Prime Minister Rama declared that a regional center against violent extremism will be established in Tirana. Mr. Rama made the following statement at the summit. Let's draw up programs for the community and the youth for art and culture. We are establishing a center against violent extremism in Tirana to fight ethnic division and to eradicate stereotypes through dialogue. The Center Against Violent Extremism is not merely a promise from the head of the government. Four ministries have already begun working on establishing the center. The Ministry of Interior, the Ministry of Defense, the Ministry of Education, and the Ministry of Social Welfare. The center will also be supported by the U.S. Embassy and representatives of the religious communities. Ora News has managed to get a copy of the draft, which contains anti-terrorism policies and practices. Each of the ministries is charged with discovering suspected terrorists and educating the new generation through a project called School as a Community Center. The Ministry of Education has introduced new curricula and educational materials with this goal in mind. As the Prime Minister declared at the UN, the government will be committed to educational and cultural programs, which will be focused on religious dialogue. Ladies and gentlemen, that concludes our news edition for this evening. We thank you for joining us. Please have a great weekend and join us again on Monday for more translated news in English. Thanks. And have a great night. Ora news. Atu